I spent what I earned. I didn't have it, I didn't spend it. All so simple, you know, no mortgage, no wife, no kids. Simple, simple, simple. And not that I'm saying I regret. What I'm saying is responsibility changes you. Makes you do things that you might not normally do. See what I'm saying? Chief Inspector Albright. Nice to see you taking an avuncular interest. We'll all be grateful when you tie this one up. We? Oui. The whole town. We don't need bad publicity putting off the tourists. Uh, especially a new investment like Ripley Holden's arcade. There's no doubt in it. I imagine an arcade needs a clean reputation to get planning permission for a casino hotel. You heard about the planning permission then? Oh, aye. Young Blythe here's like a terrier on the research side. I'm not unsympathetic to a businessman's plight. Glad to hear it. I think if I had money tied up in Ripley Holden's business, I'd want to ensure that any inconvenient obstacles to its success were removed. Well, who wouldn't? I might even be tempted to provide a false alibi, if that's what it took. And what type of man would do that? I don't know. The type of man is easily bought. I suppose I've got you to thank for this, have I? What is this? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. We we'll just appeal the planning permission. We'll get there in the end. Never underestimate the power of prayer. All this will be casino hotels, all worth. Gambling is Blackpool, so why pick on me, eh? You think I objected to your planning permission? Do you really think they took any notice of me? No, thanks. You know, you can't enjoy yourself in this lab. You're not exactly the best place to enjoy paradise when you get there, are you? Now, for a non-believer, you're very concerned about getting to heaven, aren't you? Well, maybe I'll be one of those last-minute converts, you know, that the shepherd rejoices over more than over the 99 that never went astray. Ah, but then you'd be missing out on having Jesus on your side in your lifetime. Well, I look at you, and I look at me, and I just might be able to live with that. You're very cynical. No, I think you're the cynical one. I mean, if I do something good, I do it because I think it's the right thing to do. If you do it, it's to please God. When did you last do something good? This morning, when I opened the doors of this place to let people in to have a good time. When did you last do something good which didn't benefit you? I give it to charity all the time. That's just so you don't have to get your own hands dirty. So if I did something good, something for somebody else, do you think the look might change? And but then you wouldn't be doing it for someone else, would you? Oh, no, believe me. This time I would. Can I have a word? <laughs> How's your coffee? Fine, thanks. I was a bit pissed off last night. I realised that. I'd had a bit to drink, so I think I might have gone a bit too far, you know. Things I said about Terry. I'm not going to judge Terry by what you say about him. No, but you might judge him on the mates he keeps, and I know I didn't make a good impression, you know, so... You might think that Terry's not a nice bloke, and he is. I know that. I was planning on calling him. Were you? Great. When? Do you think I'm going to tell you after last night? Fair enough. Fair enough. So, have you shagged every woman in Blackpool over 40? Yeah, more or less. But Terry doesn't need to know that I'm one of them, does he? No. 
A bloke doesn't like to drink out of a dirty cup, does he? I mean, no offence. None taken. I've caught Ripley in a lie and he knows it. I've got the son knowing that we're onto his dad. And I've got Albright doing his impression of a whipped pup. And Ripley's wife? What about her? Well, have you worked out what she's hiding? I don't think she's hiding anything. Don't think she's involved. Oh, come on. What are you saying? She doesn't know he's a villain? She married young. Well, she stayed with him now, didn't she? Hey, you don't know what you're talking about. Hello? Hi. Uh, I'm on site. Well, of course. Where do you want me to be? There's ever, I hope. <laughs> Not this. I mean this. Been away from the world. Forgotten everything. What do you need to forget? A husband who lies to me. And who I'm cheating on for the first time in my life. A daughter who's dating a man her dad's age. And a son who stays out all night, is that enough for starters? But wild is he, your boy? No. No, that's the funny thing, I don't think he is. But he stays out all night? Mm, no, I'm exaggerating. It was uh, this party that we had because Ripley was opening the new arcade. And I think he just got a bit fed up of Ripley getting all the attention. Who wouldn't? Big party, was it? Mm. Yeah. There isn't any other kind, as far as Ripley's concerned. It's one of the great things about him. He knows how to celebrate. You know, when I said I wanted to know everything about you... Yeah. I didn't mean everything. Are you jealous? I am jealous of everybody who is with you when I'm not with you. Everybody who passes you in the street. Yeah, you could say I'm jealous. Oh, that's my phone. Leave it. I can't. Leave it. I can't. I didn't know I was to call. Oh, you should have called me straight away. Of course you should. What the doctor's saying? Steve was scared of Dad already. I should have listened to him. What do you mean? You, you don't think your dad beat Steve up, do you? You can't really think that. I don't want you here if you're going to stand there and pretend. That's only gone and got himself a girlfriend. Not bad looking either. He's punching well above his weight. What's wrong? I've been at the hospital. Why? What's the matter? You all right? Is it the kids? Cheyenne's boyfriend got beaten up. Suspected fractured skull. I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. Steve, 